Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Today, I will discuss two articles. One is from the, the separatists uh, in Ukraine, uh, addressed to uh, the Russians. And the other one is a no-confidence vote uh, that's going to uh, occur, occur in Bulgaria. And that seems to follow the Pakistan's uh, example or scenario when uh, Imran Khan, uh, the former pre uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, was a little bit cozy with uh, uh, Russia. The big club did not like that, and immediately he had a no-confidence vote on him, and out. But let's go, uh, and now it seems like the same scenario is in uh, Bulgaria for uh, some other reasons. So, the first article from Fox News from June 14, 2022. Russian separatists ask Moscow for ballistic missiles to counter Ukrainian artillery. And it was another article that I saw that a separatist asked for Russia's uh, uh, more troops, to send more troops. So are there only the separatists fighting the Ukrainians? Or is the Russians and the separatists? But well, we'll find out. A top official in the Russian separatist group, the Donetsk People's Republic, DPR, urged Moscow on Tuesday to send ballistic missiles to counter Ukrainian artillery strikes. Ballistic missile. Spokesman for DPR, People's Militia, Ed Eduard Basurin, told Russian media outlets that DPR forces need more ground and air-launched munitions like the Iskander missile systems, which is a short-range ballistic missile. What? Basurin said uh, he was making the comments publicly instead of through military channels to make sure Moscow pays attention, that was quote-unquote, to help its supportive forces eliminate, quote-unquote, the enemy artillery in the region. The, pre the plea comes as Ukrainian president, the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, has made similar calls for assistance from Western allies as he looks to push Russian forces out of Ukraine's occupied territories. Russia, Russia has claimed great advantage, uh, advances in the Donbass, but Ukrainian forces have prevented them from gaining complete control over the eastern regions. Moscow uh, appeared to make some gains but, uh, in the Luhansk region Tuesday after Russian forces destroyed the last remaining bridge over the Severodonetsk River near the contested city of Severodonetsk, effectively blocking immediate access to western Ukraine for his Resist resistance forces in the city. Well, they were trapped over there, let's put it this way. And the Russians said, uh, surrender, the separatists said, surrender or die. And Wednesday they said between 5 and 8 p.m., I think, uh, or uh, 5, yeah, I think 5, Moscow time, 5 and 8 p.m., there would be a corridor, evacuation corridor allowed, whoever wants to get out and surrender, we'll see. If this is going to turn into Navzovstal Part 2 or not. The United Kingdom's Defense Ministry confirmed Tuesday that Russia intends to increase its defense budget by 10 or 12 billion dollars, but it remains unclear if Moscow can achieve this. 10 billion dollars. Look at the Americans. Oh my God. And I'm quoting, Russian government funding is allowing the country's defense in industrial base to be slowly mobilized to meet demands placed on it by the war in Ukraine, the UK, UK Defense Minister said Tuesday. But the ministry also noted that uh, Moscow could face an uphill battle in expanding its defense budget following severe international sanctioning. Could be. Could be. And um, then we go to the, the other article. Well, this one is, you want the Iskander? What the? Iskander for what? To keep what? Poland or something? But nevertheless, I don't understand. Iskander, not the uh, not the regular artillery or you no know, like nice little one. Iskander, you want to scare the guys or something? <clears throat> the other article comes from Reuters, my friends, quote unquote. June 15, twenty twenty two, and this is the title: Bulgarian government faces no confidence vote next week, and a no confident vote, co confident vote uh, motion against the government of Prime Minister Kirill Petkov on Wednesday over its economic policy, a move that could trip, topple the ruling coalition after just six months in office. 
Uh, we have lodged a no confidence motion in the government over its failure in economic and fiscal policy. When is going to be this no confidence vote here in America regarding Biden and his administration? Huh? 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 I'm listening. Is there going to be any? No. Why not? Because they're in it, all of them. They're hand in hand. We're like brothers. You know, Iron Maiden song? Yeah, that's what it is. They were like brothers. That's what they are. They're like brothers. Uh, and uh, this is, um, they say here that uh, Bulgaria saw its consumer prices jump by 14.4% in April, a 14 year old year high, mainly due to spike in prices in food and energy. Figures for May are due later on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, it's uh, Petskov, a 42-year-old economist elected in December on a reform and anti-corruption platform, has said he will try to rescue, to secure parliamentary support for a minor minority government after the populist ITN party quit the four-party coalition. Uh, the political turmoil, turmoil is set to uh, slow a reformist drive in the EU poorest corrupt member state and could jeopardize plan to tap EU recovery funds and join the Eurozone targeted for 2024. Well, <clears throat> that could be that could be an eternal thing or could be an order from outside. And I tell you what, they have a problem with, um, with a little uh, country, I think it's North Macedonia. <clears throat> if it, because if North Macedonia, that means it's a South Macedonia as, as well. I think that's what it is. Um, where, in order for North Macedonia to uh, join the European Union or something, they have to be okay with Bulgaria, or Bulgaria has to be okay with them, and Bulgaria is not okay with them. So, if you remember Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of United, not yet, is to. I mean, he's not too because we got Biden, so he's a genius compared with this guy. So Olaf Scholz uh, visited, uh, I think, North Macedonia. North Macedonia. They, they visited, I think, uh, he, he visited um, Serbia and he visited Bulgaria to talk about this. Serbia about other reasons, but then the two, and he urged the Bulgarian government to not create problems and don't stay uh, in the way of that country's uh, membership, uh, you know, aspirations. And uh, it seems like Bulgaria did not get the message because they didn't say, okay, sir, let me bend the knee and kiss your whatever. And uh, now we're going to have a sudden no confidence vote. Well, whatever, you know, maybe it was an order. Who knows what uh, the, the other party, the other party just, you know what, we're just retreating. Right, Olaf? Yes. So the coalition will get in the min minority. So let's have a no confidence vote because uh, the economy is going so bad, but it's okay. Every other economy goes bad, but only we do that. You know, no, United States is the same or others are the same or close, but only we're going to have this. And that's why it gets me to, with the, with the, it's just an idea, you know, that maybe it's a little order to change this and the ones will be okay, a-okay with any country that the West might like to uh, have uh, in the European Union. Because if you remember Ima Imran Khan, the former uh, Prime Minister of uh, Pakistan, he, will, he went to Moscow right when the invasion started and he continued to be okay with that. He was told to reverse course. He said, what? And then he got a no confidence vote. He claims it was the United States who initiated that and bypassed this and bypassed that. He was ousted. Then uh, another guy who's a, a corrupt guy, Sharif, whose father, I think, is lives in London. And he was also in a politician. I think he was the prime minister as well. He is indicted, I think, in Pakistan. But somehow he lives in free country of England, in London, like Abramovich and other oligarchs from... Uh, Russia, there are, uh, you know, in trouble with, not uh, Abramovich necessarily, but many others that are in trouble with the Russian law, but they somehow, they found uh, refuge in uh, London, nice city, 50% non, uh, um, how should I put it, you know what I mean, 50%, you got it, and you got your, uh, what's his name, I can't remember, he's uh, the, 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 uh, the mayor, I can't remember, whatever. You know, that weasel. Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, nevertheless, 
uh, a little uh, regime change in Bulgaria, and then North Macedonia will come flying into the European Union. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.